I'm going to show you how to look for electric effects using pointy and blunt tapes. We need a roll of magic tape, a plastic straw, a styrofoam cup, a pencil. We'll also use a PVC tube, some bits of paper, and a piece of fur or paper to rub the tube. First, we have to make a test stand. We take a styrofoam cup and a pencil, poke the pencil through the cup. Now we can take the straw and slide the straw through the cup to make a test stand. I'm going to take the roll of tape. I'm going to make a blunt tab by folding the tape back on itself for a small distance and take about four fingers width of tape off the roll. Now I'm going to make a second piece of tape with a pointy tab. I make that by folding the corners back on themselves to form a pointy tab. I take about the same length of tape. Now I can stick the pointy tab tape onto the back of the blunt tape, the sticky side of the pointy tape against the non-sticky side of the blunt tape. I press them together and then I pull them apart. I'm turning the pointy tab tape around and bringing it near the blunt tape and we see they attract. Now I can hang the blunt tab tape and the pointy tab tape on my test stand. I'm going to make a second pair of blunt tab and pointy tab tapes. I fold a blunt tab and take again about four fingers width of tape off. Then I'm going to make a pointy tab tape, folding the corners down to make the pointy tab. Once again, I stick the sticky side of the pointy tape to the non-sticky side of the blunt tape, press them together, and pull them apart. When I bring the pointy tab tape near the pointy tab tape, we see they repel. I bring it near the blunt tape, they attract. When I bring the blunt tape near the blunt tape, they repel. When I bring it near the pointy tape, they attract. Let me show you what happens when we rub the tube and try to attract bits of paper. So I'm rubbing the tube and I bring it near the paper bits and they jump to the tube and fly around. This was the experience that happened in ancient times when people rubbed bits of amber and found that it picked up little bits of straw. I can rub the tube again and bring it near the pointy and blunt tapes on my test stand. We notice that the tube attracts the pointy tape and repels the blunt tape. So this behaves like another blunt tape and we could say that the tube had blunt charge. 